Hey friends, welcome back to Channeling Chinez. In this video, we are going to be doing a love and relationship reading for June Cook uh, of BTS, I believe, and Yoon Ha of G Friends. So thank you again for all of the requests. This channel is steadily growing and it's because of all of your requests and views. So thank you so much and let's get right into it. So we are going to be looking at the relationship history first um, for each individual we'll see how the energy comes out um and we'll go from there we'll do relationship history present energy and then soul connection uh this is for june cook and yoon ha with the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles. So this energy is really processing things through like a fiery lens. Okay. And the Five of Cups. Wow, the King of Swords with the Eight of Cups. Okay, and then the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. All right, so <clears throat> what jumps out first, this seems like June Cook's energy and Yoon Ha, and please tell me if I'm saying it properly or not, <laughs> in the comments is over here. And then this is maybe some shared energy um between the two so with the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck it's like <sighs> yeah oh okay 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 so it's so so love and relationships for each of them is um well for all of us right it's like the way that we learn our deepest lessons oh my gosh okay okay wait Wait, I just want to point out that the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords are both out. So even though I'm not necessarily looking at the energy that they share with each other, um, that energy is present. We're looking at the relationship history and the fact that the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords is out indicates for me that there is a really, really, really strong connection, strong connection between these two individuals. For June Cook, it's like there's nothing that he wouldn't sacrifice for a relationship, for a partner, and because he can sort of go at things like full speed ahead without necessarily thinking about the consequence because that's not the point, because that's not the uh, the end goal. A lot of times, you know, he goes from the nine to the 10 where he feels like he takes on um, more than he gets back with the seven of pentacles in reverse. And he ends up just feeling like, uh really um, like taken advantage of um in relationships like he's never appreciated for all that he put into it and he always ends up with less than what he originally had before he was in the relationship or at least that comes across um the way he may feel <clears throat> there's some virgo energy too with the hermit coming out um and the hermit so let's come back to the middle because I want to talk about Yoon Ha before I make sense of what's in the middle here. So um, relationship history, lots of karmic cycles, lots of them. <laughs> or just like, and, and that could be like um, a plethora of different things. It could be like family karmic cycles witnessed or experienced, personal karmic cycles witnessed or you know or you know ex experienced whether it's through friends or whatever just like there have been so many cycles of like the same lessons over and over and over again in her relationship history that she has had to learn 
and she can be very analytical toward relationships not that there's not like love and a soft spot and um because we do have the eight of eight of cups and the five of cups in this reading so there there is emotion on her side there is like um there's water you know like like <laughs> there's water there's emotions you know but but it's in her head it's what she can make sense of in the relationship whereas on his side it's in not his heart but in his like energy and his might and what he can produce and what he can show of what he can do um and that's why for her it's just been a lot of cycles that have made her feel like uh kind of the same way he feels like she brings more to the table than the people that she ends up with or connecting with and then ends up moving on as a result of that and searching for something that is more aligned to who she is it's just from different angles that that's happening and then that's when you have the hermit um <clears throat> and the five of cups in the middle because they both in the past have felt just like really lonely and there's just been some Sorry, drinking some water, maybe some hard goodbyes. Um, and just haven't felt whole in relationships in the past on both sides. Okay, so let's look at the current energy between the two. <laughs> two jumpers, so we'll leave those. So we pull them out. Three of Cups with the Ten of Cups. Ooh. The Six of Pentacles. Okay. With the Sun. Wow. Wow. Some Leo energy in the mix. The Three of Pentacles with the nine of swords okay the high priestess more water energy was that piscean maybe with the page of cups some type of water <laughs> the ace of swords right she's always in her head about stuff we were just talking about that and then she, yep, she's very analytical about ways she thinks about things and relationships with the Three of Swords. Okay, so what do we got at the bottom of the deck? Okay, the Justice card. And then we had two jumpers, which is the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Okay. So, and then we have the Justice card at the bottom of the deck. Huh. And right underneath that justice card that I'm picking up is the King of Wands. So yeah, so whatever whatever connection these two individuals have is strong. Like, I think that if they are dating, there's aspects of this relationship where they're like a really good team. Um, like they can collaborate really well together with the Three of Pentacles and they can share like their pain with one another. Like there's empathy in the relationship. Um, like, like they just feel each other's like pain. Like there's just, there's just an understanding between the two of them that doesn't really exist with other people or in other connections. On June Cook's side, he seems very schmitten. <laughs> Uh, so you have the, t and this, this really, like, I put the Ten of Pentacles over here because this is what it seems like to me about him. And then this is what it seems like to me about her. So that's why I put the Two of Wands over there. So you have the Three of Cups and with that, the Ten of Cups. So yeah, like, um, he, yeah, very smitten, very about it, <laughs> very, um, like, it's like very much, this could be my wife. <laughs> type of energy like um uh she's a gift I want to give to her um she's so generous and her generous spirit brings me happiness brings me joy takes me out of depression like it's just there's just 
a bond we blend it's wonderful um like I love her like this relationship feels just it feels like I don't feel like I felt before in the past you know I don't feel like I have felt before in the past I don't feel like I'm not getting anything out of my relationship I feel like I'm putting in and I'm getting even more than I thought I was going to get and then on her side of things <clears throat> the high priestess with the page of cups like um in her soul she knows that this connection um is valuable like and it really is a deep knowing um and i love for her that she got a lot of major arcs that came out because for me her relationship history and then this particular relationship is like a very um impactful soul journey thing you know what I mean for her because we were talking about how there's been a lot of cycles underneath that right we had the wheel of fortune and then we had the moon and then we have another moon here the half moon the high priestess so it's like she really has to trust her internal knowing in order to make the right decisions for herself and I think that she's really like on track with that so you have the ace of swords with the three of swords so it's like she's moved out of the three of swords energy into the ace of swords like she's confident very confident in herself very confident in love um confident in this connection looking um to the future and what that could look like between the two of them because for her it also feels just but maybe that's not something that she's expressing like outwardly but it is something that she feels internally like this could really be a great team like this could be the happy ending right <clears throat> and we have the justice that came out at the bottom of this round so let's look at their overall soul connection if you enjoy these readings please go ahead and hit subscribe i upload weekly here on channeling chinez you can also connect with me on instagram and tiktok at official chinez everything is linked below The soul connection between June Cook and Yoon Ha. Seven of Swords with the Hanged Man. Eight of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. Wow. Lots of love. Told you he's about it. The Two of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. Two, 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 two for her. Okay. High manifestation mode. Five of Wands. Five, five, five of Wands with... And then the King of Wands finally came out again. So I would just like to point out <laughs> that the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands came out in this reading as well as the King and the Queen of Swords. This connection between the two of them is so potent and strong and gives me twin flame vibes, gives me soulmate energy, gives me we've 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 lived together through lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes and we'll always meet each other and because you are the queen to my king, that is how this comes across very very strongly feel very confident about that with the five of pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck so yeah this relationship has been the end of a cycle and a period of suffering for both of them over on his side he <clears throat> doesn't have to hide who he is how he feels in love in his heart his thoughts his desires and so he's able to like be in this in this deep state of knowing for his own self with the hanged man in reverse whereas like for her it was the high priestess but it comes across to me like similar energy where like i know in my soul that this is the connection that i was meant to be in with the ace of cups coming in at the end and then the, the eight of pentacles i want to grow and build and have a future with this person um because this is just a great love it's a higher love and then for her the two of pentacles and the two of swords again like um feeling finally like finally having balance in the mind balance in life balance in the energy um 
the only thing we didn't get here for her is like the two of cups because then that would have been like complete synergy right like but lots of synergy in their relationship um feels like this is a person that would fight for her feels like this is a person that um like has her best interest at heart and it makes her feel more confident being in connection with him um and you you have the five of wands here so like that's coming across to me like there may be um competition for his heart but like she she knows exactly who she is in this connection and she never feels like um he's deciding between other people in this competition like she has the confidence in herself and then in her partner that this connection is strong between the two of them and there's nothing that she needs to worry about all right well again if you like this reading go ahead and give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments and i will see you all next time